Hello, this is Newman, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown uh, of the rig, the Thai rig. And a lot of people ask what that consists of. Forgive me, because I'm improvising all this, but we'll just uh, go from one item to the next, the signal chain. Starts with the Fender Elite, 1983. It's a pretty wacky guitar, but it sounds great. Uh, for this video, I used the bridge in the middle pickup. Um, had the volume on full. This is kind of like a treble booster here, and I had that cranked all the way up. This is like a mid boost. Sorry, you probably didn't see that. Treble booster. This is like a mid boost that you. Uh, I use it to roll in, thicken it up, or thin it out. Um, I kind of uh, adjust these according to any given song. On this one, I pretty much kept it rolled in, and I'd roll it out for certain parts so I could get some kind of like a chimey quality out of the guitar when I needed it. You'll see it on the videos. And that's pretty much it on the guitar. Like I said, these I adjust them from song to song. Uh, I think the only time I ever used just exclusively the bridge pickup was for far, far away posting. Um, short of that, it, I always use these two. You got the push button thing. So, anyways, that's the guitar. That goes into the L7, uh, made by Norlin, distributed by Gibson. Uh, Norlin was a division of uh, Moog Sense for uh, those interested. And basically what I did is I just, uh, this was originally a 410 combo and I chopped it down and just used it as a head. And I ran into the second channel. Uh, these are kind of like the settings for uh, Shot of Love and uh, What Is This. I didn't change anything 
for either two of those uh, videos. It's multi-filter. I don't know. I don't really hear it do much. I can about have that anywhere and it sounds the same. A friend of mine told me it was broke, so. Anyways, that's how I had that set. Compressors off. Uh, it goes from the L7 down into an Alesis um, MEQ230. And these are the I used this side for the videos. What is this in Shot of Love? And those are the settings I used on it. So there you go on that. And then that goes into this device, which I can't tell you about because it's a secret. Can't tell you that. Can't tell you what that is upon penalty of death. So anyways, it goes into that from the EQ. Then it goes down into a DBX, which I'm just, uh, what is it, 166XL? I'm just using that for uh, gating, because it's really a, a noisy rig, so that's just gating. And it goes out of that into an Alesis Midiverb 2, setting 62. That's what I used for, what is this, in Shot of Love. There again, this gets adjusted according to the song. I just basically do the input until this overload load light clips and back it off a little bit. Mix varies. This is the main volume out for the whole rig. And then it goes out of that and into the power amp in of the, uh, the lab. So the preamp out goes into the first thing in the signal chain, which is the Alesis MEQ and then it returns back on that and I got a nice long speaker cable here power amp out or speaker out I'm sorry and that runs all the way over here pardon the mess well I've unplugged it but I tracked what is this and shot of love with a, uh, a Z cabinet that's a 212 with a couple Celestrians in it, different Celestrians. I mic the top one, which is a vintage 30, right on the center cone with a SM57A. And that's about it. That's the rig. Threw it all in the Pro Tools and chopped it and diced it and sliced it. That's the Z amp. I just got that a couple weeks ago posting the Brad Paisley videos before long. Not a Z-Rec, but a cool ant nonetheless. Thanks for all your views. I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.